Hey, what's up guys? My name is JC. I am Wrong Strong. After 68 years in prison, America's oldest juvenile lifer is free. Let's get into this video. KB got a hit. It's Sean Frazier. Came in the game without a dime to my name. Uh -huh. Got some pounds in the change. Uh -huh. Got some pounds in the change. Uh -huh. Used to hang with killers who would Pow. let it bang. Yeah. Who would Pow. let it bang? Yeah. Who would Pow. let it bang? Yeah. Changing up the script. Had to change the way that I live. Uh -huh. Had to change the way that I build. No more powder in them seals. No more stacking up them kills. Gotta take care of my kids. Wasn't easy paying those bills. I could feel the weight of my chest. I gave it all my best. Only pounds I move when I bitch. Only pounds I move when I lift. I got back up and I flex. I got tired of hitting that deck. Feeling bullets with my head. Savage tattoo on my face. Gotta thank God for his grace. Make time for my bank. Gotta take time when I pray. Legal money all in my bank. I ain't got time to be fake. Took the gang all across state. Try to help out when I can. Boss mode, I got plans. Sauce on, I got fans. Came in the game without a dime to my name. Got some pounds in the change. Got some pounds in the change. Used to hang with killers. Who would let it bang? Who would let it bang? Who would let it bang? Every time they see me, they ask me what I'm on. Every time they see me, they ask me what I'm on. Every time they see me, they ask me what I'm on. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is JC. I am Ron Strong. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss nothing. If you're part of my crew, mi familia, mi raza, you might ask yourself, what is that? That means that Wrong and Strong is all a family, a movement, a way of walk, and a way of doing things. Wrong to strong. Subanse la suburban. Let's get this video on the road. What's up, guys? Yeah, man, I read this story and it made me a little bit sad just because I've seen a lot of guys in prison, you know, old. A lot of guys that did a lot of time. I met a dude in, in transfer when I got to ATL and it was a USP that was over there. I guess he was the oldest bank robber that had been in the federal system since like the 50s. Guy had he was really old well Joe Joe was sent to prison at the age of 15 he was incarcerated in February of 1953 they say for robbery and murder there was other kids on this case but you know it was the 50s so who knows you know um, we all know that 1950s were a very very uh, segregated time in the US so there, there was a lot of bad stuff going on, so only they know if they did commit the crime or not, but he's out. And uh, something that he said made me really, really think about stuff because he stated on the article that that 15-year-old kid that was running the streets, like, no longer exists. He's, he's done. He's gone. And, I mean, he's an old man, man. He's 83 years old. Uh, he and and you know and this is and this is the crazy part, right? He could have been out in 1970 because the governor actually offered like uh, clemency to them, and the other two guys took it, but he didn't want to take it because it, it meant being on parole, and he didn't want to be on parole. He wanted to be he wanted to be free, so he he rejected it, and he didn't he didn't take it because after being locked up that long. You want to be free, man. You want to be free to, to do things. I, I tell everybody, the day I got off of probation, you know, I had been on probation since, since I was like 14. <laughs> and I didn't, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know what to, I didn't know what was after because I, I never finished it. I always ended up going back. You know, sometimes I lasted uh, 90 days. Sometimes I lasted six months. Sometimes I lasted a year out. And, and you know, it, it was a revolving door, but I never finished the probation. And after I finished it this year, it was like I was waiting for something. And then my PO was like, would you want balloons and cake? Like, you're done. You're a free man. So, I mean, it felt good. Don't get me wrong. It felt really, really good. I got that paper on my wall and, and being free. But this guy was locked up for many, many years. Remember, he was 15 when he went away. 
he's 83. He did 68 years. So it's just like in, in that movie, uh, uh, Sam, Sam Reduction, Sam, Sam, Bang! 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 What's the name of that movie where that old guy gets out and he doesn't like want to be free? Old guy gets Yeah, where that guy's digging the hole through the wall. Sham Sham. Sham Sham. Redemption. Sham Sham Redemption. Yeah, that I can't pronounce it, so I had to get some. I had to get somebody else to do it. <laughs> you know, he he got out after being gone for so long, and that's all he knew. And it's crazy because, and I'm just talking about me. It's the only person I can talk about. <laughs> I can't talk about anybody else or how they feel. But when you first go into prison, you're afraid. Right? You're afraid to go in. I don't care what anybody says. Motherfuckers are afraid. Um, you're afraid. And then once you get there, you, you want to kind of get out. You know, you're like... You, you experience that that time in your life where it's kind of like restless you, you're constantly calling home but, and then you kind of settle into doing the time and you don't call home as much no more you call home maybe every week or every two weeks and you start just doing the time well then you start to actually get comfortable in the walls and then when it's time for you to go home you get a little scared I mean I, I was I was terrified when I was coming home because I knew I was coming home to nothing and no job. I didn't. I didn't know what I was gonna do. So it was like, it, it was scared. I was. I was scared, man. You know, 40 years old, no retirement plan, no social security, like no, 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 no track of nothing. Um, just damage that I did throughout my life, like nothing, nothing to retire, nothing. So it's, it was like a terrifying moment for me to come home and not know what I was gonna do with my life. And just imagine being. You know, 83 years old and, and coming home after you've been gone for 68 years. 68 years. Man. You know, this is why I, I, I talk about it so much and I, I get both, both, both ends. You know, I, I get how people get mad and they're like, well, if you wouldn't have committed a crime, you know, prison's not to be comfy. And I, I get it. I get it, but I also get the other part where maybe if you guys kind of helped us get better before you release us, we wouldn't reoffend again. That's how I feel. When you go into a prison, a medium violent kind of guy, but you get out a high custody because you're more violent now because you've had to be violent in there to survive and now you're coming home with all that shit in your head you know there's this there has there has to be something that could be done i i've watched research in other countries and they're doing way better than us you know, maybe, maybe they don't want to help us. Maybe they want to live, leave us in there because we're fucking cattle. You know, we're, we have more prisons here than, than schools. So, you know, it's up to us then to kind of like man up, step up, and actually help the next motherfucker get better and not fall into that transition and, and stop, stop, stop showing everybody that the statistics are right. Prove them wrong. Fuck them. The more time you are away, the harder it is for you to come out and settle into life. There is no brain stimulation in there. There is, there's no chaos. There's no, you come out and it's too much out here. There's too much going on. The first day I went to go buy my hygiene after I had been gone for a little bit, I, I couldn't even deal with all the people moving around, bumping into me. You ain't gonna bump into me in prison. I'm gonna stab the shit out of you. Like it's just, it's different rules, different lifestyle. Too much going on, too fast, too noisy. It's different, it's different. And people need to stop talking shit about, oh, you committed a crime, you, you need to stop talking shit. And okay, so they paid for their, for their crime. 
now help them get better so they can actually stay out and be a productive member of society. Pay taxes like you say that you pay. All that good shit. But I don't know shit, man. I'm just JC, you know me. I just, I just do me, man. I talk about all this stuff because it's important to me. It's part of my life. It's part of my history. It's part of what I've done. If you know my story, you know, I've been around the block. I've done a lot of things. And to this day, the number one thing that's helped me change is being of service. And just walking the walk, man, talking the talk. Life is good. If you just live a little bit hard. My name is JC. I am Ron Strong. Hey, don't judge nobody. Stay in your lane. Live savage. And remember, you only have one life to live. Live it out here free. Not in a gang. Not selling drugs. Not killing nobody. Not part of a gang. Just live life, man. Life is too short. Live it. Just be Ron Strong. I dare you.